And here's the field, beginning with number one, Canyon Wind. He's owned by the Shore Racing Stable and the Valdor Farms, trained by Steve Elliott, and the driver is Dave Pallone. Number two, Dream Wave, owned by Kantz, Goldband, and Libfeld, trained by Brett Pelling, Ron Pierce. Number three is Artesian, owned by Mark Wojciechowski and Sam DePinto, trained by Sam DePinto with Mike Lachance. Number four, What an Artist, owned by Arlene and Jewel Siegel. The trainer is Jim Campbell, and the driver is George Brennan. Number five is Aces Up, owned by Acri NDG Incorporated. The trainer, Greg McNair. The driver, Andy Miller. And number six, First Foxy for the White Creek Stable Incorporated, trained and driven by Ray Paver Jr. Number seven is Scratched. That's the field for the third division of the Tanner Sauls. Seven minutes until post. It's been a fantastic couple of weeks of racing for the Grand Circuit. Fall trots here at the Red Mile. Final division of the Tanner Sauls. A field of six approaching the start. And they're off, and there goes Artesian from mid-pack who heads for the lead. Canyon win from the inside is racing in second. Dreamwave drops in neatly behind the top pair from third. What an artist is reserved early in fourth. He's followed by aces up, and first Foxy will take a seat at the back of the pack where he trails the field, and the whip is up on Artesian, who had no trouble clearing command for Lachance, and he's a length in front moving toward the quarter. Canyon win very happy with the two-hole there in second, and Dreamwave is gapped ever so slightly third. The quarter in 28 seconds even. What an artist is following along in fourth. He's about five lengths from the front right now. Then aces up and then first Foxy who trails the field. No change in position. His rival's content to let Artesian cut the pace for Lachance on the front end and Canyon Wynn enjoying a perfect trip just following along the pylons in behind him in second. Dreamwave very patient from third. What an artist is fourth and waiting for him to go as aces up trying to get some cover flow going. What an artist edging off the pylons there from fourth for Brennan at the half and 56 and 3 and first Foxy takes the short road up the rail and what an artist is now committed to the outside and Lachance going to work on Artesian as he braces for the pressure up on the outside what an artist is on his wheel with 3 eighths to go in second Canyon win still in behind Artesian and aces up carried into a striking spot second over what an artist trying to pace around Artesian but Artesian is digging in on the inside 3 quarters and 125 flat and it's a well raised Artesian at the top of the stretch drifting just a bit. What an artist trying to gun him down on the outside and what an artist and Artesian are slugging it out with an eighth of a mile to go. Ace is up trying to rally off cover on the outside. Ace is up. The fresh threat is coming. Artesian is game. What an artist there. Canyon win blocked at the rail. Artesian what an artist. Ace is up and what a finish. Four of them at the wire. Photo for win 152 and 1. And in the photo, the winner, number four, what an artist. Finishing second, number three, Artesian. And third, number five, Aces Up. So in one of the best finishes of the meet, it's number four, what an artist. In the third division of the Tantersalls, real artist, Homebred out of Oh What a Show by Incredible Finale. Bred and owned by Arlene's and Jules Siegel of New Hope, Pennsylvania. Jim Campbell, the trainer, and George Brennan is in the sulky. What an artist who is the national season's leader thanks to that 149 mile and his Meadowlands pace elimination this summer. Takes the third division of the Tantersalls, the Leon Matches Memorial, in a wild finish. It's What an Artist in 152-1. and one. That's his fourth victory of the season. Once again in the winner's circle, Gary Matches, who will make trophy presentation for the third division, the Leon Matches Memorial, as the Tanner Sauls pace honors the memory of one of the most prominent owners in the sport of standard bread racing. What an artist, Jim Campbell, George Brennan for the Seagulls, 152 and 15th.
The results have been posted official for race 11. Number four, what an artist, 420, 260, 210. Second, number three, Artesian, 380, 240. And third, number five, Aces Up, 320.